Hey guys and welcome back to Puppy English. My name is Sam and I'm traveling the world and teaching you English. Today we're in the city of Bristol in England. We're going to discover the city and I'm going to teach you English. So let's go. This is Bristol, one of the trendiest cities in England. If you describe somewhere as trendy, it means it's a fashionable place to be. Bristol's unique atmosphere comes from its historical harbour, its world-class street art scene, street art admired around the globe, and its small town feel. If a city has a small town feel, it means there is a sense of community where everybody looks after each other. So welcome to the city of Bristol, and let's learn English. So first of all, we're going to check out Bristol's harbour, which the city is built around and arguably the most influential port in British history. Bristol is one of the most fascinating port cities in the world. In fact, its harbour has the perfect location and the Venetian explorer John Cabot set off here to explore North America for the very first time. If you set off or set sail, it means you depart to go somewhere. If you set sail, you depart by ship. John Cabot set sail in 1497 to become the first European to make the voyage to North America. A voyage is a long journey involving travel by sea or in space. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg of Bristol's naval history. If something is the tip of the iceberg, it means it's just a small part of its bigger story. There is a lot more to learn about Bristol's naval history. Bristol played an important role in England's maritime trade in tobacco, wine, cotton and much more. That is the buying, selling and transportation of these goods by sea. From the late 1600s to the early 1800s, Bristol was also hugely involved in the slave trade, the transporting and selling of human beings. During this time, Bristol was the home to many pirates, including the infamous Blackbeard. So did you know that Robert Louis Stevenson created the character of Long John Silver here in Bristol? Because many of the world's most fearsome pirates came from this city. And that is why the pirate accent we're all familiar with on TV and movies is the same as the Bristol accent. Arr. So Bristol Port, the harbour, also influenced the English language. It introduced the adjective ship shape, which means organized and in good order because the port the harbor always used to be very organized with all the ships in the correct place so if you're looking to get your english pronunciation ship shape you will definitely be interested in the sponsor of this video elsa speak so this is the elsa app it's full of lessons that help you improve your pronunciation it uses technology that analyzes your pronunciation and gives you tips to improve Let's have a look at one of the lessons. Let's eat lunch soon. Let's eat lunch soon. Okay, pronounce E here with the vowel E as in C. And it also gives you some tips on where to put the tongue in the mouth. Let's try again. Let's eat lunch soon. Excellent, you sound like a native. So use this link to get 85% off lifetime membership or you can get 40% off a one year membership. You'll also find the links in the description of this video. I really recommend it. It's like having a pronunciation coach in your pocket. Okay, so let's get back to Bristol and continue learning English. When you walk along the modern day harbour in Bristol, you will find the old docks. Now the docks are where the ships were loaded and unloaded in the past. Nowadays they're not used for that, but a lot of them are used for shops, restaurants or even bars. So now it's time to go to one of the old docks to try the famous Bristol Cider. So Bristol is famous for its cider. Now cider is an alcoholic beverage made with fermented apples and it's very good because Bristol has the best orchards in the surrounding area. Now an orchard is a piece of land where you grow fruit trees. Now let's go and try this amazing cider. So this is the cider. This one has a dry taste which I like a lot but you can also find sweet ciders as well. Delicious. 
I'm super excited now to explore Bristol street art and I came across this alleyway of graffiti. An alleyway or alley is a narrow passage. This place is awesome. Bristol is the city of Banksy, the capital of street art and graffiti in England. You can find Banksy's art all over the city and Banksy is a figure of mystery. That means he's someone that we know very little about. But I don't want to let the cat out the bag, but I think Banksy might be from Bristol. To let the cat out of the bag means to reveal a secret, usually without intending to. Sorry about that Banksy. I have one more place I want to see and that is the Clifton Suspension Bridge, opened in 1864. When you come to Bristol there is one thing that stands out a mile. If something stands out a mile it means you can clearly see it and recognise it even from a distance and that is the Clifton Suspension Bridge which is a marvellous piece of engineering. The Clifton Suspension Bridge was also the location of the first ever bungee jump in 1979, a landmark for adrenaline junkies, people who are addicted to doing exciting and often dangerous activities. So there we go, that's the magnificent city of Bristol with so much character. It's a wonderful place, you have to visit it. And make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So there we go, that's the charming city of Bristol. I'm traveling the world and I'm teaching you English. Where do you think I should go next?